कैसा लग रहा है Hello guys and welcome back and today my wife and I are starting for Gokarna it's 6.30 in the evening and uh, I just finished work and will start right away the car is ready a uh, few luggage is left to load onto the car so I'll directly meet you guys once I sit into the car see ya All right guys off we go and we just started after fueling up and we're drawing some cash and I'm going to head towards the outer ring road which will lead me to the Mumbai highway so Hyderabad to Mumbai highway and then from Mumbai highway I will take a left turn towards Gulbarga and I, I'm gonna try this route for the very first time so let's see how it goes the time is 7:27 pretty late we're gonna be late tomorrow but yeah all right guys so we just got down from the outer ring road and we are on the Mumbai highway now and the distance shown on the map is 187 kilometers and it, it says 3 hours 17 minutes for that and uh, I will just recheck once if the map that's being shown is correct I just don't want to get into any state highways to take a shortcut I would rather prefer the NH so yeah so far so good this place would be a little bit of uh, hustle bustle um, uh, this is the main junction from where um, the outer ring road starts near Patancheru so yeah so far so good let's keep going well it has been about five minutes that we are stuck in this traffic um, not really sure what has happened but to me it appears to be an accident probably uh, because I see a rushing police van and even the map uh, shows this area to be traffic congested okay there's an accident it's probably something serious Alright, according to the milestone we are inside Karnataka, I suppose the road that goes right uh, leads towards Bidar. That's one of the roads that leads towards Bidar. There are multiple roads. And you can see the road condition suddenly deteriorated. That's an expected behavior on all borders. Probably the bridge is still under construction. And we have 5.6 kilometers to be covered on this uh, highway. That means still Humnabad. We have covered 124 kilometers from home and Gulbarga is another 98 kilometers. A lot of big potholes on these uh, diversions. What better can you expect from these diversions? A lot of dust, lack of visibility, that's a tractor blocking the road. And yeah, that is the broken roads. I pretty much can remember this was the kind of roads that we had about 7-8 years back. Now we are blessed with good highways, but there are still some stretches where it's broken. This being one of them. So finally that place has come, Umnabad and I'm taking a left. I have set the map for Hubli and it shows 390 kilometers from here. So here 
we buy bifurcate from the highway the main highway that leads to pune and mumbai and we go towards gulbarga via gulbarga we'll be moving towards um hubli so just hoping that the roads would be decent if not great lot of speed breakers right in the beginning of the road the milestone reads kalaburagi kalaburagi vijayapura and starts the story of high beams ab to pure raste ye chalne wala hai so yeah can't do anything about it let's keep driving Well the road is pretty isolated and spooky. Uh I was stopped by a random police guy and charged 20 bucks for no receipt at all. It was clearly a loot, but I did not want to create a fuss over there, so I moved on and then there were around 3 to 4 more checkposts where people tried to stop us. We did not obviously stop. We drove through. These are just money making uh, techniques probably. And the place doesn't feel very safe either. uh roads are again not that great so just hope this particular stretch gets over asap doesn't make me very confident driving on this stretch All right so about 1 and 1/2 hour of uh, power nap in front of this petrol bunk I feel pretty fresh now so I'll start off All right guys so around 100 km to Hubli I just stopped for a small break just a pee break and I'll just continue Uh, my wife is uh, asleep already inside i took a power nap that's all and i'm feeling fine now so let's uh, get started again all right we are finally in hubli city entering hubli city or we also call it hubli dharwar so another 3.7 kilometers towards to the point from where we'll take another left turn and that left turn will lead us to our stay which is in which is in between kolwa and uh, gokarna so far we have covered 574 km from home and uh, the road conditions were of mixed type at places they were very bad and at places they were decent it's about 7:45 in the morning now so let's go ahead and see benefits of crossing a city or a town in the early hours is you don't get the crazy traffic i would still say there is considerable amount of traffic all right guys so we have crossed hubli and this is where we are stop there's my wife sitting waving her hands and uh, we are just 100 km away from our stay and we'll be reaching there in another 2 hours probably 2 and 1/2 hours It's a beautiful place that we've stopped uh, in the middle of the forest. another 105 kilometers from the last break we took probably that was the last break we're not going to stop anywhere else my friend and his wife would be joining us at the stay directly they are right now in kolwa they'll drive down to the stay directly 
I'll share the stay details and the location details in the description. Do check it out. So the last 55 kilometers before the stay, the road is like the road has been like this for last uh, 70 kilometers. It's taking a little bit of time to cover the distances here, but jagah bahut sundar hai and it's fun to drive over here. Alright guys, so we have reached the destination almost. Nimrit Park on the left hand side. Nirmit. Nirmit Park. Wow. Nirmit Park. Alright, so we have reached finally. Hey, hello guys, it's around 5 p.m. in the evening and I had a good sleep for about two hours. Uh, the place over here is pretty nice. The stay is nice. It's like a theme park. The rooms are decent as well. So we'll just go and have some tea right now. There is a restaurant in the property. So we'll just go and have some tea over there. Hey hello guys and this is the day 2 and we have had our breakfast some time back and we are now heading for Gokarna. The distance would be somewhere around 90 kilometers and that would be through some of the ghat roads till Karwar and from Karwar it's a highway. So let's get started without further ado. The breakfast was decent, uh, not, anything, not anything great about it. Um, the place is nice but then it's infested by a lot of visitors because it's a park which is open for people. So yeah that's about it. Alright guys so we are near Gokarna now. Uh, it was about 90 kilometers of total drive through the Western Express Highway which is the closest highway to the the Arabian Sea. The road conditions are nothing to be talked about. Um, mix of most of it is two way without a divider and bad roads as well, bad surfaces. Some parts are four lane and uh, it took us significant amount of time to cover the distance. Uh, we are heading for Om Beach which is around 12 kilometers from where I am right now and I'll be meeting my sister-in-law there, my sister-in-law and her husband and her kid. So we'll have lunch together and spend some time over there. I'll show you the view of Home Beach once we get there. Even the roads that lead to uh, Gokarna from the highway aren't that great. The surface is pretty damaged. I would say the car is doing a great job to absorb that but then uh, we have to limit the speeds to some extent. And that's my friend in front of me in the golden orange color figo 
it was more of an unplanned uh, trip. We happened to cross our ways and we tagged along together. Did you go to the beach? I'm saying this is for parking. Yes, I'm saying this is for parking. No. No. So, typical problem of a tourist spot. There is no parking space. We found this place and we are dumping the cars here. It will be about 700 to 800 meters from here to the beach and we'll walk our way down. Do you have to take a little bit of a bike? Yes, I'll take a little bit of a bike. Take a little bit of a bike. How will this get out of the bike? I'll take a little bit of a bike. I'll take it. Take it, take it. Alright guys, so we are proceeding towards the home beach. Uh, it's a little steep out here. And there's Rupa behind me. Rupa say hi. <laughs> and the rest are also following. Yeah, take a little bit. Selfie lele sab log. Jiju ka. No, you have to take a look at it. This is the background. I can't take a look at it. So, you have to take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at it. So this behind is what is called as home beach. It's 4 p.m. and it's extremely sunny and humid as well. So probably choose the timings wisely. This is definitely not a good time to visit this place. And it also has a climb that you have to take while returning. So yeah, that's about it. The view is really nice. So we guys are heading to the Kudle beach now. This is how the road looks like. Everybody is moving there. Let's get to the beach and see how it looks like. Ladies say hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright guys, we are at Kudle beach. Let me show you around. So we spent some more time with our relatives and friends over there. We had an amazing time. It was a little humid and hot but other than that it was all pretty nice. The place was really nice. The sunset was scenic. We hogged on some seafood before we left the place and it was dark by the time we reached our stay which was Nirmit Park. I know the vlog got a little too long. Apologies for that and if you have watched till here I hope you liked it and if you did do give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family who would love such travel vlogs if you're new to the channel consider subscribing thanks again so much for supporting this channel bahut bahut dhanyawad aapka channel ko support karne ke liye thank you again stay safe and have a nice day